Hello everybody. Camera 53 is the Sony DSC F717. It's very similar to the F707 that I reviewed in week 3 of the 52 cameras project. There are a few uh, differences, mostly evolutionary. Slightly different color. This is silver. The other one was more of kind of a gunmetal gray. ISO goes up to 800 instead of 400. The max shutter speed on this is one two thousandth of a second versus one one thousandth on the F707. It highlights the autofocus point. One thing that's great for what uh, I've been using this for is it has a live histogram. There's a full auto and some other exposure modes. It has USB 2.0 which is nice. Twilight Portrait. So it does a slow flash sync, so it'll you know it'll uh, leave the shutter open to get the background, and then it'll flash, so you can have you know a city in the background of a portrait or something like that. It'll take longer MPEGs. Uh, the F707 was li limited to I think 15 seconds. The lens ring on this one is programmable. You can uh, tell it to be the zoom instead of just the manual focus. Another uh, significant difference, this one has a hot shoe. There was an accessory shoe on the F707, but it was a cold shoe. And now to why I got this one, so similar to the other one. Uh, I played with the night shot mode, it has the infrared emitters. It's kind of cool, but kind of gimmicky. I don't really need to see in the dark. But after reading a bunch on the net, what I've done is I covered up the infrared emitters on the lens. I have a step up ring so I can use these on other cameras. That's the step up ring there. Uh, I got a 72R uh, infrared pass filter. Anything with wavelengths longer than 720 nanometers, it'll pass. Because they crippled this so you couldn't look through clothing, uh, the shutter speed is 1 60th of a second. So control, to control exposures when doing uh, daylight infrared, I got a series of uh, neutral density filters. I got a two, a four, and an eight. I just stack them until the histogram shows that the exposure is gonna work out and it'll take the picture. Uh, it's really been fun. I wanted to get this going uh, as the first kind of revisit to the project for two reasons. It's fall now and uh, foliage is where daylight infrared is really really nice and also this camera like a lot of them its sensor is dying it does some really cool effects sometimes where it looks like the scene is melting other times it just does some banding uh, if I could control it and do it on purpose it'd be great but to you know have a nice uh, macro shot of a flower or something and have it look like the scenes melting is a little bit weird but anyway, I've been having a blast with this. I haven't been loafing while I've been away. Uh, I've done a few repairs, acquired another camera, been shooting with two or three of them. So I'll uh, shoot some more with this in the following week, post some more pictures, and I'll see you then.